Hello everyone, uh, Mike Henderson here again with uh, another installment on how to typeset in Scribus. Uh, this is where we left off in the previous video. I'm going to take this out of here for a minute. Um, this is uh, we have the grid. The point of this part of it is to show the grid so you can line things up. So I want this two to be centered somewhere. So uh, what one thing? Whoops. One thing we can do is uh, go back to F2. Put this over to the left. Now I can see why it's not centered exactly because here's centered. Um, because there's indentation. Well, this is the first um, line of a new chapter, so that should not be indented. So what we're going to do is we can actually select both of these things because we want this to be, this should have selected this. See what happens. Uh, we're going to go up here. We're going to move this line over. And that moved over. Uh, we didn't move our two. Well, we'll do that. Just move this over. But not so this is all still indented, but it just moved this. So if you put the cursor there and don't highlight anything else, it'll just do that paragraph. So let's take this two. I want I want that two to be um, aligned left. All right. Then I if I highlight the thing, it will. And I say center. It centers it. I hope. Yeah. There we go. And now it's centered. See this. And then, um, you know, maybe it's big enough, maybe it's not. It says 12 points, it's not 12 points, but we're going to make it um, something. You know, whatever you want it to be, as big as you want it. Uh, you could also just come over here and say, well, instead of the number 2, I want it to be a Roman numeral 2. And, you know, then it comes out with that, and you, you do a we had a, a, a Trajan, um, yeah, where to go, Trajan um, Pro, here it is, no. and uh, centered, so I'm going to see if I can get this thing to grow, and you know, there it is. Now I can't really move this around because it's part of the text. So another thing you can do, by the way, with chapter numbers, get rid of that. Because I have a grid here and I have, um, uh, I'm able to line this up. So the benefit is you can go to every single chapter and make sure this is consistent because the, you know, making a decent looking uh, typesetting um, uh, job is largely do, uh, part of, uh, bleh, largely a matter of consistency. All right, finally got that set. So we go up here and select insert text frame, like we've done before, and hopefully it will do something. There we go. And I draw the text frame the way I want it. Now you don't have to spread it out. You can put this, you don't have to put it go from side to side. The reason I do that is that if I put the text in here and center it, then it will be centered by the whole thing rather than me trying to line this up. And center it. So let's um, I double click it to enter text and I want it to be chapter Roman numeral 2. Um, I do my F2 so I, I can uh, see what's going on with it so I can uh, edit the text basically. Uh, text. And so here we are. So I highlight it because I, come on. I want it to be a different font, so we have the Trajan Pro again. Boom. And, and regular, that's good. Now I'm going to adjust the height. I've used this in other uh, uh, documents, and I make it 24 point, which is a nice big Roman numeral 2. Um, I want it centered. Pops it right over to the center. And uh, that's all there is to it. Then this I can then I can select this text box wherever it went. Come on. All right, and then I can move this around and line it up 
whoever I want it. So this one dark line is a nice spot. I put it there. I moved it a little bit by accident, so you can see that it's all out of whack. You put it over back to where it's pretty much centered. And then the text, you can uh, just use the enter key to put the text whatever line you want. Then you go to all of the first 